Certain pesticide products are exempt from federal registration because they're considered to be relatively safe for human health and the environment. These products are called minimum risk pesticides. Minimum risk pesticides must comply with certain composition and labeling requirements listed on the screen and found in 40 CFR 152.25F to qualify for the registration exemption. Let's look at an example. You take an active ingredient from the active ingredient list, such as peppermint oil. You can purchase, use, and apply peppermint oil as a normal consumer, and it is generally considered to be safe for use, even though it is also considered an active ingredient for pesticides. Then you combine the active ingredient with an inert product, something like beeswax, which is an ingredient from the inert ingredient list. If you combine these products into a peppermint candle or topical ointment and labeled it or applied it for pest control, then you have created a minimum risk pesticide product. If you want to apply minimum risk pesticide products, the label should list all active ingredients, it should not have any false or misleading statements, and should not have public health claims. Products that do not follow these guidelines may not be true minimum risk products. Furthermore, because minimum risk pesticides are not registered, they may not have gone through a health and safety review. You may apply minimum risk pesticides to your own property, but you must hold state certification to apply pesticides to anyone else's property, even if you are only applying minimum risk products. The takeaway should be that minimum risk pesticide products may be safer alternatives for your health and for the environment, but they are still pesticides and they should be used with caution. Always read the label before purchasing, storing, or applying pesticide products.